After Skip Bayless's inexcusable debacle last week, including his interruption of Shannon Sharp, once the Hall of Famer rejoined Bayless on Undisputed. Skip tweeted something, and although I disagree with the tweet, uh, and, and uh, hopefully uh, Skip would take it down, but I didn't want it. Well, yep. Time out, time out. I'm not going to take it down because okay. I stand by okay. what I tweeted. Skip, let me okay. finish. Let me, All right, okay. Go ahead. No, you go. Go ahead, let's go, Jen. Okay. I mean, I cannot even get through a monologue without you interrupting okay. me. Well, you could have came back, Skip. Well, I thought, Skip, just let me. I, I didn't I, know I, you were going to bring no, up No, this. I was just going to say, Skip, I didn't want to yesterday to get into a situation where DeMar Hamlin was the issue. We should have been talking about him and not get into okay. your not get into your, uh, uh, your tweet. That's what I was going to do. But you can't even let me finish my opening monologue without you interrupting. Okay. I was under the impression you weren't going to bring this up because nobody here had a problem with no, that tweet. No. Clearly, the bosses wanted you to offer explanations, so clearly somebody... No, they did not have... The, nobody... Let's go. Another Hall of Famer gave his two cents. You see something happen to a young man like that. It's just... You don't have to be a football player to understand how big this was. And, and you spoke about humanity. And I think... But there were things done here by someone here at this network that were inhumane. And, and we sit here and we talk about how good, and I'm sorry to take it this way, but this, this, this route, but I just, I just felt like sensible people and sensible human beings have a heart. And they understand that, that your words and what you say really have an impact. That being Michael Strahan, clearly calling out Skip Bayless for how he handled the news of Buffalo Bills safety, DeMar Hamlin. Not only uh, on that young man's family. And, 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 and so all the attention should be on this young man, his recovery for yep. sensible people like us here to say that it didn't affect anybody at this network. Nobody at this network minded. That's a lie. Obviously didn't talk to us because it matters to us and it matters to any sensible human being that this young man's life was bigger than any football game. This young man will hopefully be back and forget about football, but just have a life. It struck a nerve with Strahan. And how couldn't it? Lest we forget... After Dak Prescott lost his mother, and then when he learned of his brother Jace unaliving himself. Um, how, how did you find out what happened? It's crazy. All throughout this, this quarantine and this offseason, I started experiencing emotions I've never felt before. Um, anxiety for the main one. And then, honestly, a couple of days before my brother passed, I would say I started experiencing depression. Didn't know necessarily what I was going through. Uh, to, to say the least. Bayless said this. I have deep compassion for clinical depression, mm -hmm. but when it comes to the quarterback of an NFL team, you know this as well as I, better than I do, it's the ultimate leadership position in sport. You are commanding an entire franchise, and they're all looking to you to be their CEO, to be in charge of the football team. Because of all that, I don't have sympathy for him going public with, I got depressed. I suffered depression early in COVID to the point that I couldn't even go work out. Look, he's the quarterback of America's team. Tone deaf. And the reaction said it all. Bayless pulled a Bayless in a time of sensitive matter, making himself front and center with a reckless Take. These comments are made just for it, in my opinion, from someone who likes to shock people. And he's talking about being a leader. Part of being a leader is having guys respect you. And they respect you by being honest about what's going on in your life. And, and Skip comes from a place where he's only leading himself because he's a very individual business. So I just didn't like that comparison. And, and, and it's very hard, you know, being an NFL player, knowing what guys go through, how tough it is to listen to opinion of someone who the last time he put on uniforms when they went to Halloween and trick-or-treating. Mm. Like, you don't understand what it takes. So I applaud Dak Prescott for speaking up. Strahan said his piece beautifully, may I add. Awful announcing Sean Keeley would write for the outlet. Meanwhile, Bayless seems impervious to the feedback or criticisms, as always. And it doesn't appear that he is facing any kind of pushback from Fox or Fox Sports, aside from the comments his colleagues continue to make about him. However, I will say... On a previous piece we covered, front office sports, utilizing their sources, said that the time may be up. But in saying that, the door will always remain open for two heavyweights in sports media, and at least in the hot take industry side of sports media, to reunite once more. And that is Stephen A. Smith and longtime co-host 
Skip Bayless, who put ESPN's first take on the map.